How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back to City Skylines. No Jiping. I certainly hope you're having a good one because I'm excited to be back. Today, we are going to be diving in to some work on the new airport that we placed down at the end of the last episode. And I have made a couple of small changes to it since I did that. I've gone ahead and put in some roads and I've put in a couple of other things as well. But for the most part, it's mostly just the roads. Now, some of these are kind of temporary. These roads going across the middle, for example, are kind of temporary. And uh, some of it isn't. For example, the taxi stands are probably going to stay and the parking lots are going to stay because I kind of just like the way that looks. But this area in the middle is largely going to be parking lots. Now, I'm probably going to put a couple of other things in there. It's not going to be exclusively parking lots, but it's largely going to be parking lots. And that's kind of where our journey today is going to start. And describing it as our journey today makes it sound a lot more interesting than it's actually going to be. Because to be totally honest, I just want to essentially do something like this. And the reason I want to do this is because generally speaking, airports are absolutely covered in various parking lots. I had a look at an airport here in Northern Ireland and uh, it's basically just parking lots. You know, you got the building, you got the whole terminal building, but you've mostly just got parking lots in front of it. And that's kind of what I want to do here. So we're going to have all of these parking lots here. And I think what I'm going to do is actually double up on those on each of these roads, something a bit like this. And we'll sort of do the same over here as well. And this is going to bring a lot of tourism to the region. And I'm not entirely sure how I feel about that because it might be a little bit silly to have a bunch of parking lot tourism, as I like to call it. But at the same time, eh, it's not really the uh, it's not really the end of the world if uh, we have a bit of parking lot tourism because it actually helps to make the airports kind of busy, which is something that I kind of want them to be. So. We'll do something like this, and I'm thinking that middle section there is also going to have a bunch of parking lots on it. So we'll go back and forth. Oh, that one overlapped a little bit. We'll go back and forth and just throw a bunch of parking lots in here. And then the spaces in between these, I kind of want to go ahead and do some actual park space, which is probably a little bit silly given that, you know, it's an airport. But I want it to look kind of nice, you know? I do want it to have, obviously, a whole tremendous amount of parking lots. But I also want it to look kind of nice. And I also, just because I can, I want to do this. I don't know why I want to do this, but I want to I wanna do this. Uh, because it just looks weird. It just looks a bit weird, and I kind of like that. I'm also wondering, thinking about it. Ooh. Oh, we could do that. Can I put you? Ooh, that would that would fit even better. Uh, that one fits amazingly as well. Very weird looking having sort of that middle parking lot, though. So maybe we don't do that. Or maybe I just use this guy. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, not you either. That one. So I think we'll just use the same one we've been using. And then I'll outline it with paths and stuff like that. I don't know why I want to do this. I just, I kind of like the idea. So we're going to do that. And then what we can also go ahead and do is bring... Let's, actually, let's use a, an interesting path here. Let's use the amusement park path because I always really enjoy it. And let's essentially just do something like this, which... Oh, it's got the, it's got the gravel underneath it. I don't really want that. I want it to have the, uh, I want it to have the pavement because the pavement looks so much better. There we go. Uh, so basically, we'll use this path. And we'll go ahead and just extend it to touch the road up here a little bit. So just like that. And then I'm basically just going to uh, copy and paste that across into uh, into each position. So this one, for example, we'll kind of move it down a little bit. We'll put it about there. And we'll just make it sort of connect up there. So that's pretty good looking to me. We'll do the same on this side. So we'll kind of bring it over and bring it up here to uh, about that spot. We'll duplicate and do the same thing again, bringing it to about there and about that spot. Now, 
I just want to make sure that these are actually lining up properly because this one was floating a little bit, which I'm not a huge fan of. So we'll do that. We'll grab the middle section and we'll grab you and just make sure that they are sloped kind of nicely. Uh, this bottom bit could actually be lowered or not. Never mind. It's fine as it is. So that gives us some paths kind of from this road to, you know, this road down here, which I think will be pretty good. Uh, I'm thinking we could also do the same just back here as well. So we could do something like that. And I think we could probably actually use that as a bit of a guide for doing the same on the other side. So just uh, just like that. And that seems fine by me. The only other thing I'd want to do at this point is probably a path right down the middle here. So what would be the best way to do that? I guess turn off grid snapping and try and just line it up as best I can. So something like this. That way people can, you know, walk from the parking lots over to here and then over to the terminal. I'm going to have to put in some uh, some actual crossings for that, but that's kind of the idea. So bring you down to about there. Uh, get that kind of nicely in the middle, which that looks to be. And then just slap another one over here. And again, that'll let people just get from the parking lots down towards the uh, the terminal. And that'll hopefully encourage a bunch of people to walk about, which is what I want them to do. So, crossings, I think, are going to be the next thing that we need. Can I put one up here? No, I can't put one there either. I can put them sort of in the middle of these roads, I suppose. A little weird that I can't do them there. I guess what I could do is that. Oh, <laughs> I didn't want to get rid of those. Uh, turn off collisions and do it on that side. There we go. So, doing it that way, I guess, gives us some crossings in the corner which is pretty important and then i guess what we can also do is just uh just copy this guy and uh put it there and then grab ourselves another pathway and put it right about there so that's fine uh bring you down a little bit and just line this guy up which actually this guy's pretty well lined up so that's fine uh so yeah that'll give us crossings in the corners what i also kind of want to do is get a few more crossings in here uh so can i get one here i can can i get one here i can that actually lines up perfectly i can't i can get a middle one as well which is probably not necessary since people can't actually cross over there but that's fine by me i'll tell you what let's go ahead and connect this up to actually give this thing power and uh get it working so we'll just do a little power line like that and that'll give the entire airport power and that'll make the entire thing functional as well. Uh, so we're going to have people actually coming out here, which is going to be all sorts of cool. We also kind of need to make sure that people aren't parking on these roads because that would be kind of silly. Uh, so turn all of that off. Turn all of that off. You guys off and you guys off. And turn parking off on that road as well. That way we're pushing people to actually use the parking lots, which are never going to fill up, but that's kind of okay uh it's it's not a huge deal they're still getting used a little bit and i guess at this point thinking about it we probably want to start setting up some public transport which to me kind of begs the question do i want to do public transport as a hub or do i want to just have buses come in stop and go about their business and i like the idea of a bus and intercity bus hub if i'm completely honest uh and it will fit relatively central so if i was to go in up here i could do a bus and intercity bus hub up here and i don't think that would be a terrible idea it might be better to do in one of these spaces though so maybe we actually go ahead and get rid of some of the parking lots i don't i don't think that would be too terrible so maybe these guys for example can kind of go away and then instead we can put a sort of intercity bus hub uh somewhere like i actually like the idea of it there so it seems a little bit more sort of connected to the terminal but oh this whole area is gonna need flattened isn't it okay i'll tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna select all the nodes and all the buildings and i'm gonna i'm gonna flatten this entire space because i i feel like it needs to be uh so all of this up to about there and all of these guys are all going to be brought down 
to the same level. So, uh, object height is going to be right there. That lowers absolutely everything, which looks a bit ridiculous, but, you know, we can, we can fix it. Nothing to worry about. We can totally fix it. We'll go in with a nice, smooth brush, decent size on it, and uh, just hit absolutely everything with the smoothing brush. And that will level everything out and stop all of the uh, the roads from looking a little bit weird down here. Obviously, a little bit weird over this way, but this is now level with this road, which is kind of important to me. As for the rest of it, just going to be a simple case of selecting uh, all of these guys and doing a very simple little slope right there. So that's now sloping down to the roundabout. And on this side, going to be kind of a similar story of letting this guy slope up to uh, to about there. So slope like that, and that seems pretty good. In fact, you know what? Can I just slope it to that spot? I absolutely can. Can I slope it to that spot and have it look good? I also absolutely can. Okay, so that gives us everything nice and level. We've got our bus and intercity bus hub right there i'm not really sure how that's going to work and i'm not actually sure putting it there is a good idea but i'm i'm gonna do it anyway uh well actually am i um let's move it to there for a minute and let's because i could do i could do a bus road i could do some bus lanes which might not be terrible so i need to remember where exactly they are because for the life of me there they are um, if I was to do, let's see, if I was to do something like this, now I can't zone on that, but I can just use move it and place this guy on that road and then it, you know, actually works. So I'm not entirely against doing that because again, it kind of gives me... You know, a decent little bit of space to uh, to work with there. And I can connect you to there, flip it around, and hopefully that'll work. I don't really know what the ins and outs of this thing are, but that seems fine by me. I'm also noticing all of my zoning is turned back on, so I kind of need to go around and turn all of it off again. So just all of this is just not going to have zoning on it whatsoever. None of those roads, not the roundabouts, uh, not these guys, not these guys... And not these guys down here either. Uh, but that seems... That seems like a good little addition. It makes things a little bit less symmetrical, which I think is probably good. So let's go ahead and start bringing some buses out here. Let's do another bus line here. And let's go for... Ooh. I don't know what color to go for for the, uh, the airport buses. I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, but these guys are going to come out. They're going to go to there. And then that's going to be going back to the town. So that's going to be town to airport. And I kind of like that color. I feel like that's going to be really light though. But whatever. It'll be fine. In terms of buses, we can probably get away with... Did I not rename that? Uh, town to airport. Uh, there we go. Uh, in terms of buses, let's see. I think for this one, probably the Sitaro. I kind of want to go with the Sitaro K. Maybe the Sitaro C. Let's do the Sitaro. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like the double decker would make sense from the city. So let's do the Sitaro C for the town. And for the color for this thing, I really don't know. I guess maybe a purple. Yeah, I like that. I actually like purple. Uh, we'll go for purple. So, Sitaro C on the airport line. And that'll be fine. So, I don't know how many vehicles that's going to need, but whatever. Uh, so, that's town to airport. The next one's going to be city to airport. And I'm going to do two of these because we have a couple of different bus hubs for the city. So, we're going to go there. And then bring this one out to the airport and that'll be city to airport uh one and that's fine and i think this one can use i'm very tempted to just stick with the sotaro c let's just stick with that let's let's stick with it for the time being if it needs upgraded to double deckers then we'll do it uh this will be going to the other 
main bus hub in the city. In fact, uh, yeah, it is. We've got one spot left on that, which is good. So let's go ahead and bring this out to the airport as well. And we'll get it to be nice and purple. And that is city to airport number two. And that's also going to be the Sitaro C11. And then this one's going to be airport to village, which is probably not going to be the Sitaro C11. I feel like it's probably going to need to be a double decker. Um, and I'm only going to bring it to there. So you're going to have to transfer to a different bus if you're going to the village, which is probably fine. Uh, so that's... That doesn't really make sense, though, but I'm... Eh, I'm going to do it anyway. Why not? Uh, so let's let's do that. And that's going to be uh, village to uh, airport. And it's going to be nice and purple. And this one, I mean, we'll go with a C11, whatever. Uh, so there we go. So that's those set up and those will do great things, I'm sure. But I also want to get some buildings out here. I kind of want to get something that looks like a hotel out here. So let's have a little look through unique buildings. I mean, we have the Science Center, which is a very cool building, but honestly, it's it doesn't really look like a hotel. Uh, we do have this, which is not terrible looking. I'm pretty sure I've got a couple of other towers as well, though. This guy is probably way too tall, especially for this kind of airport. We don't we don't want to go too crazy with the buildings on this thing. Now, to be honest, the Colossal Order offices are not a terrible shout for it. They're not... I mean, they're big, but they're not so big as to be sort of... It's not strikingly unrealistic to me. I mean, the, the building itself is a little weird looking, let's be honest, but it's not... It's not terrible. I don't, I don't absolutely hate that, uh, but I will... I'll have a little look and see what else we got. Uh, so we've got, well, we've got some things in here. We've got things like the cinema, which I know I said I was going to place, and I still do want to place. Uh, I've also got the hypermarket, which to be totally honest, I also kind of still want to place because I know at least near some airports, uh, near Belfast International Airport, there are a lot of shopping places. Near Belfast City Airport, there is an Ikea. So this could actually be sort of an Ikea to, uh, to this area, which I'm not against doing, actually. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a little road that comes down here. And let's get ourselves some kind of uh, Ikea-looking thing. So this can basically live right there. And uh, it looks... It, it's sort of got the look that we're going for. It's not super realistic, but it's not super terrible either. And what I can also do with it is bring this road kind of down a little bit. And if I just shuffle it slightly closer, it will look like that. So it actually looks like a road that trucks can use to, uh, to come down here, which I'm very much okay with. I also kind of like the idea of... Let's see if I can actually do this. Because if I, if I do something like... Let's see... Uh, bring you down to there. Let's connect you to there. I could do some parking down here as well. Which I don't think would look terrible. So, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's also turn off all of the district zoning around here because that does look kind of terrible. And turn that off as well. Uh, in fact, turn those ones back on. Turn, we'll keep that one on as well. And let's see what I can do with parking lots here. So... In terms of getting this to line up, I mean, we can do this kind of thing. And that's that's a pretty good lineup there. Extend that down, and it looks like they're about on point. And then for this side, I mean, we can do two of these next to each other. And then fill the rest of the space in with different things. I guess different types of parking lots and things like that as well. Because uh, I can do these guys right next to each other. And I could probably get a couple more of them in there too. So if we did that, for example, and then copy you and put you there, uh, we can maybe overlap the lamp posts too to make them look a little bit, you know, neater. Or, well, as best as we can get with the overlapping lamp posts. Or we could just not overlap them at all, because it looks like they're not actually going to overlap anyway. 
That's great. Um, let's see. This side, similar story. So that's about as close together as those are going to get. And I'm kind of okay with that. I, I don't mind it too much. I like that this road here will get used. And I'm going to probably put trees and decorations around all of this. But this, this seems like a good little start. So this guy can be here. We can decorate some of this space as well. Although I could probably get a small yeah, parking lot in there. Which absolutely not against doing. So a little parking lot there. We could probably bring a road down and get more parking in here. But that's that's fine. This is this is fine for the time being. Turn parking off on uh, all of these roads. And turn parking off on these roads and that road as well. And turn it off on this road. And it's already off over here. We're going to turn it off on all of these roads too. And eventually we'll surround this with other things. I think right now we've got the uh, we got the supermarket over there. The cinema, I mean, I would like to put it in, but I don't really know about it. We do have an actual luxury hotel. But it's a little weird looking. And it seems a little beachfront-ish. I, I don't think it would fit in too well. So I think this is fine. Um, do they all have power? They do. Okay. Let's just let things run, I guess. And I'm honestly most curious. Ooh, I forgot one little thing I want to do. I actually want to put a bus hub uh, out here. And I also want to do... Uh, let's see. I also... Hmm, I also want to do services out here. I think that would be good. So let me bring this road... Let's see. Bring this road down to here. And bring it... Hmm. Let's bring it back a little bit. Uh, so bring it back to about there. And bring it over here. We're going to bring it underneath everything uh, and down here as well. Because what I can do on that road is I can say, for one, absolutely no parking. And obviously, absolutely no parking in any of these either. But I can also do vehicle restrictions. So we're going to say no buses, no taxis. But we are going to do service vehicles on this little road. Because what I can then go ahead and do is, I think, yeah... So I can put a fire station there and I can put a nice police station over there. I can put a gate in front of this. I can put some uh, some fences around all this. And that gives us services for this area, which I think is quite important. Even if it's a little bit weird that they're kind of, you know, right here on the main road. That's that's fine by me. Although I oh, I could make it even more interesting. I, you know what we're going to do? We're going to take that road out. And we're going to uh, extend this one out a little bit. And I'm going to put my services on that. Because I think that's going to look just a little bit more interesting. Because it's going to give us uh, vehicles driving underneath the... Uh, I can't remember the name of those those bre uh, uh, bridge things. But whatever they are. It's going to give us vehicles driving underneath those. Which I just think is going to look cool. And also, can I just put these together? Roughly. Something like that. Does that look okay from the back? It doesn't really. Um, something like that, maybe? Uh, yeah. I'm actually going to allow that. It doesn't look too bad. It looks a little weird from the back, but that's kind of to be expected. I guess I could probably shuffle it over a little bit and have it sort of connect to the, uh, connect to the terminal. Which from this side looks really weird, but from the, front, from the, uh, the other side doesn't look too bad. Um, I actually like that. I, I kind of like that we have the services essentially attached to the airport itself. I think that's pretty cool. And what I'd also be tempted to do is continue this over and put down, let's see. We could put in a biofuel bus depot and sort of shuffle it over just a little bit. It can probably stay as its own building, but... It's a pretty cool looking building and it looks like it sort of belongs at an airport, you know? So I'm not really against that. And uh, this guy as well, honestly, just because I can, I'm going to put it uh, it in here as well. And we can just place... Hmm, should I shuffle these around and actually have... Yeah, let's, let's shuffle these guys around. So you are going to go there for a second. You're going to go uh, there and you're going to go next to it. And that brings this building a little bit closer to the main road there, which 
wasn't really my intent, but that's fine. Um, I don't think I can merge these guys together without it looking kind of weird. So that's fine as well. We'll just sort of have them... Uh, oh, God, no. Uh, bring you down a bit. So it's not on the road. That's fine. And then you... Honestly, would look pretty good back there. So let's try and do that. Let's go ahead and bring this road uh, up a little bit and just have it loop around like that. Because I think that's pretty cool, honestly. I uh, I kind of like that. So there we go. That'll give the buses just a little loop to uh, to follow there. And gives us just a bunch of buildings at the uh, end of the airport. So we should eventually see some vehicles come out of this. And we should see them driving underneath the, uh, the things that I've completely forgotten the name of. And it's bugging me. But regardless, there we go. So we got a little police car just driving underneath there. And it is going to collide with the, uh, why can I not remember the, 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 oh my god, the baggage carts, the baggage handling things, whatever they're called. I, for the life of me, cannot remember right now, but colliding with those, not really the, uh, not really the end of the world. Uh, I do want to just move it in a little bit, though, so something like that and just move you over a little bit. That looks pretty good. I also kind of wonder, don't I have prop it up i do prop it up so if i was to select you can i by chance yeah luggage cars so i can actually turn those off which is probably not the worst thing in the world uh so you props luggage car off and then you so luggage car is not actually on for you because i already turned it off okay so now there's no uh now there's no luggage cars they, uh, my vehicles aren't going to be colliding with anything. And we also have a plane coming in with 200 people on board. Fantastic. But I'm curious about something. Uh, can I actually place luggage cars myself? I absolutely can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them like this. And I'm going to put one like this. So that we do actually have them. They're just, you know not uh in the way of traffic and i think what i'll also do is put one about here does that uh doesn't really block anything that's fine so one about there's no problem and since these uh these over here aren't going to be used i'm going to put another one just uh just there i think that seems pretty good uh now that's a lot of people that is a lot of people coming off of those planes and not very many of them are looking to use public transport because I realized I totally forgot to put in the uh, the crossings there. So we're going to need a crossing there. Uh, I can't do one there. I can do one there. So let's just try and get as many of these things in as we possibly can because hopefully that's going to incentivize people to actually... Oh boy. That's a lot. That's a lot of traffic going on. Um, I need to do this real quick. And I need to do this real quick. And I need to do the same there. And I definitely need to do the same over here as well. Because, oh, I might have... Oh, I don't know how well that's going to work, but I guess we're going to find out. Either way, I'm hopeful that we're going to see some good things come out of all of this. Uh, how goes this? There's not that many people wanting to use the buses. Okay. The buses are very purple, by the way. Very, very purple. Also, no one on this one. So no one's gone from the city. And no one's gone from the village either. That's probably to be expected. Oh, also, I totally forgot to give this uh, some pipes out here. So let's go ahead and just do that. And bring you down to there. And I guess bring you down to there because I can. Uh, so, I guess the good news is we have one, two, almost three full planes landing right now. Uh, let's see, you also, so we have a lot of planes, and they're, <laughs> oh boy. Um, I got the feeling that the number of parking lots here is going to really incentivize a lot of people to, uh, to use all of this. But... What are they what are they doing? Are they going for buses right now? 
Because if they're all going for buses right now, that's going to be so good. Also, we're probably going to want uh, traffic lights in all of these crossings. Because if we don't, it's going to be a total pain for people to, uh, to cross over all of this. So we'll do like, you know, that. And uh, yeah, they're all going for buses. Which I don't mind, truth be told. I really, I really don't mind that. I just don't know where exactly they're going. I guess they're, they're, they're filtering pretty well. Um, I don't... So you're going to go into a parking lot. Where are you going to a park? Oh, you're going over here. So that's probably the city one. Okay. Well, that's fine. As long as people are actually going to use public transport, I don't really mind too much. It's not really the end of the world. So you are city to airport number two. Okay. So yeah, they're using that. I guess at this point, what we do is go ahead and start putting in some uh, some trees and some decorations and all that good stuff to try and make this area look a little bit less miserable and weird. So let's start with these two squares that we have, since those are going to be relatively symmetrical. And honestly, I think the easiest way to do this is road guidelines for a second. Uh, we'll do this kind of thing just bring it round uh bring it up to there over and down and then we can just you know expand everything out into uh the various corners that it's going to need to expand it out into so you go to about there maybe just down a little bit uh you're gonna go to about there and you're gonna go to about there then just line everything up which is nice and easy. Uh, so you're uh, relatively lined up and you're relatively lined up as well. Uh, this could probably just be pushed a little further towards the edge there. Or actually, uh, you could probably be pushed a little further that way. There we go. So that gives me a nice space to work with. In terms of trees, I think we just go relatively simple. I don't think this area... Oh, God, no. Um, I don't think this area needs to be too fancy. So let's do this. Let's do this. And let's do this. And then I I think I want to do a little bit of color in here. Uh, so these guys, I want to do one there. And I want to do one there. I don't think that's the one I usually use for color, is it? It might be. I, I, it's been a minute, you know. Last episode, it, it, had, it had been at least 47 years since the previous episode. So, uh, you know, you're going to have to bear with me for a minute. Um, Let's use these guys since they're a little different. And I kind of like that. And then for everything else, I mean, this guy's pretty good too. And this guy's pretty good too. So let's just do that, right? And then I could probably shuffle the trees about to make them a little more central, but just a little something like that does break things up a bit. So let's go ahead and grab all of that. I need the trees. I need the nodes. So we'll grab the nodes first, and then we'll just go ahead and nicely grab the trees, which are not in the greatest of straight lines, but that's fine. Uh, and then this guy just goes about... I reckon about there. That looks about right to me. Um, let's see. This side, there's a tiny little bit of dirt. This side, there is not. Okay, so the whole thing needs to just shuffle that way. And that's probably about as good as it's going to get. So there we go. That'll give us some trees there. And it does, you know, break things up a little bit. Far from perfect, but it's okay. Uh, right here... I'm thinking we just go for a simple little line of trees, and I'll just use the uh, prop line tool to do it. So something like this. And I might move them a little bit closer together just to see if I can get a fourth tree in there. So that's taking way too long. Um, something like that, right? Nothing too crazy, just something like that. And the same on the uh, on the other side as well. So, like that. And again, just breaks it up a bit. Makes everything look a little bit less uh, concrete, which uh, it certainly is right now. This side, same story. Can I get a fifth tree in there? Probably not. But that's okay. We'll just get these guys to be 
a little bit more central. And then down here, I don't know what we'll do, but that's that's a good start. In here, I think, is probably going to be an actual kind of park-looking thing. Uh, and down here, I guess... Oh, I don't really know what this bit's going to... Why are there so many people parking? Wait, what? Uh, hello? That's not... There's no parking here. Wait, no, it's an... Ah, okay. So that'll stop them parking there. They're going to be pushed into the parking lots, which is good. How's this all doing with people? It's actually doing pretty good. And there's a good number of people actually just got off of uh, City to Airport 1. That's good. I get the feeling this whole thing's sort of being used as a just general bus hub, but I'm kind of okay with that. I'm also thinking we should probably do something like this and get all of these uh, get all these intersections set up properly. So something a bit like that. Uh, these guys are all set up properly. These guys are actually not set up properly right now. Uh, so you go to there and you go to there and there. Uh, you go to there and you go to there. Uh, this guy goes to the right. You go straight on. You guys go straight on as well. Uh, and you go to the right. So I think that's everything there set up. Uh, no, actually, I missed this one. So you go to there and there. You're going straight on. You're going to the right and straight on. And then you're going to the left. So traffic coming in this way goes that way. And to get out, they can go straight to the right. I think that's everything. Um, so yeah, that'll just let traffic kind of do what it needs to do which is fine by me. Then over here kind of splits off really nicely and just works as intended. And I realize this road here with the grass just isn't used. I I kind of completely forgot about the fact that the road with the grass wasn't really going to be used for anything. I mean, it, 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 there's one or two vehicles that use it, but not many. Um, it honestly might not be a terrible idea to either put more parking lots in there or put more of the taxi stands in there just to uh just to encourage a little bit more uh you know vehicles to use it or a few more vehicles to use it rather not a little bit more uh did i do it right over here i did not so you go there and yeah that'll hopefully encourage a couple more vehicles to come along and actually use that road but for the most part i'm actually kind of happy with this despite the fact that uh traffic is definitely having some trouble with the uh, with the roundabout right now. Uh, could I maybe say that you guys can just enter that? So you can enter that intersection. You can enter that intersection. I guess it's because they're giving way to traffic coming around here. I guess that would probably do it. Although I'm kind of thinking if I made it a four lane roundabout, would that help? And part of me wants to say, probably not. But, as well as that, I could probably fix things a little bit with some good, uh, some good lane management. So let's try... So yeah, some of them are going out there. Let's try it. Let's, let's try turning this into a four-lane roundabout. It's a pretty busy roundabout. We'll, we'll give it a shot uh, with an old upgrade there. So something like that, and then, like this... And let's see, you, I all, I don't really want it that way. I want you going to the right. So I want two lanes that go out to the right there. Uh, so you go there, you go there. And then the whole way along here, we're going to sort of have people stay in their lanes. And immediately that's cleared out. I don't know if that's because I messed up with the, the traffic and maybe it despawned, but immediately, you know, it, it kind of cleared out. So that's pretty good. We'll see if that ends up helping at all. It, it might, it might not. That might have just been a, a really busy bit of traffic for a while there. Probably not the, uh, probably not the norm for the whole thing. Also, do planes land any earlier? Uh, no. No, they do not. Okay. Speaking of planes, I want to have a look at the paths for it. So, airplane path. So, you're flying that way. So, you... Okay, that's pretty cool. They take off and then they head over and join. Okay, I don't know what you're doing. You're circling. You're circling. 
Okay, so now you've joined that path. And then for this one, what are they doing? So, I actually don't know where they're coming from on that one. So that one's going that way. It's circling. Oh, there it is. So it's sort of circling a bit. It's getting up to altitude and it's heading out that way. Where are the planes coming in from? Because I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. So what are you doing? You're, so they're all taking off. Some of them go out that way. Some of them go the other way. That's, that's fine. And I guess none of them are just coming in right now. That's weird. We've had a lot of planes coming in, but suddenly it's just, oh, there's one. Yeah, I don't know where they're coming from, but they're doing a pretty good approach. You know, they're not doing a sudden sort of turn and dive. They're they're getting a decent little approach, and then they're taking off and heading to uh, their paths as well. So I'm, I'm kind of happy with how the planes are behaving. But anyway, let's go ahead and see if we can't maybe fill up some more of this space. I'm not wanting to go too crazy with all of this, but I'm definitely wanting it to look kind of... Uh, at least kind of nice, I guess. You know, just a little bit of a uh, little bit of natural life around here. I don't think it's going to hurt. So something kind of like that. We'll put another one there. Uh, we'll do a tree there and there. And for this space, we'll figure that out. But that seems fine for that end of the roundabout. We'll do this side later on. And uh, I guess we'll throw a little bit of color into some of this as well. So let's do this guy in the corner. Let's do this guy just there and another one there. And another one just there. There'll be a couple of them just there. So a little bit of color into that space. Uh, this bit here, looking at it, I actually think the best thing we could do is move this parking lot to sort of line up with that one. And just rotate it ever so slightly so it's actually in line. So something like that. Uh, and then we'll grab the node and just bring you back a little bit. So that way we don't have that awkward gap to deal with. And I think that's probably for the best. Uh, this space, I don't know what we're going to do with it. This space, I think, is just going to be a line of trees. And I'm slightly annoyed with myself because I could have just used a bunch of pencil pine trees to make this look a little bit better. And I'm now slightly tempted to do that. Because they are kind of great looking. And they they look the part. They really do. So something like that, I think is probably for the best. And I think I'm going to do the same along here as well. So we're just going to use a bunch of pencil pine trays to really bring this all together. Uh, so let's see. Those are, those are relatively in line. That's a bit of a bigger gap there than, uh, than they usually have. That's pretty good. And, uh, that's just generally pretty good. Okay. Let's see. So I want to go from about here. And I kind of want to have another one in there. So I think what we'll do is go into our options and just bring these a little bit closer together. Just a little bit. So there. And I think about there. And probably about, let's see, shuffle you over a little bit. Right about there. Oh, and I need another one over here as well. So right about, let's see, uh, there. I think that looks better. I got to be honest. I think the pencil pines were a good shout right there. I don't want to line the entire place in them, but I definitely think it works. And I kind of feel like doing the same over here as well, because what we can do is, let's see, that looks like a good line there. Uh, so something like that and just move it down a little bit. Cause I think the one at the far end was actually on the concrete. It was, uh, so something like that actually just borders the entire parking lot which is pretty cool so i like it that uh, that actually works out really really well that's a lot of planes 
That is that is a ridiculous number of planes. And I also, I've, I've always hated how they take off and immediately bank to the right like that. I'm not going to lie. That's always been a massive pet peeve of mine. Oh, boy. Oh, traffic's getting really bad again. Oh, traffic's really bad over here, too. Traffic's probably bad everywhere, isn't it? Let's have a look at my uh, my rating. 73%. Eh, that could be better. And I feel like it's only going to get worse. But regardless, we do have so many people using public transport right now. It's kind of nuts. Some of them are even so excited that they're floating. Look at them. They're so keen that they're just positively levitating with excitement. It's ridiculous. It is It is actually ridiculous, the, just the number of people around here. And it's all because of these parking lots. But I, I kind of like that. I kind of like, you know, I always joke about it and I always say it is, it is ridiculous. And that's because it is ridiculous that parking lots are tourist attractions. But at the same time, it does help to cause airports to be so much more popular and busy, you know? Having a plane come in with 100, you know, people or 200 people or leave with 100 people or 200 people. I actually, I like that a lot because, you know, you see the big crowd of people coming out of the airport. And that's generally what you see with planes, you know, a plane lands and then half an hour later at the front of the airport suddenly a hundred people come out the door all at the same time and it's i i like seeing that in city skylines and i also really like how the airport looks from a distance i don't know about the colossal order tower i think that might actually need to go but the airport's kind of exactly the way i wanted it to look i still haven't done the uh i still haven't done rocks around it yet though i did experiment with it I did find these guys because I had them downloaded already. But they are hilariously dangerous looking. They are just, they are all, it looks like an evil, it looks like Mustafar. Which if you don't know what that is, it's the planet from the end of Star Wars Episode 3. The lava planet. It looks like it, you know, if I turned this water red, it would look like it belongs. But as it stands, it doesn't, so... I'm gonna clear those out, and uh, I'll do a little bit of looking on the uh, on the Steam Workshop for something that would fit there. Uh, I do, I think, have some keys that would probably do it. Um, that's definitely not it. Uh, I do have shore erosion as well. What does that look like? Interesting. We have this. Uh, I guess I could use some of these. I don't know what that's necessarily doing. Um, sort of cliffs, I guess. And then there's that as well. I didn't know I had all of these. But I'm also not... Ah, this is what I'm looking for. So retaining walls. So I guess I could... You know, if we really wanted to, we could use some retaining walls here. So for example, uh, go to this spot. Uh, which apparently I can't build on water. Which is frustrating because I'm not trying to build on water. And I do have anarchy on as well. So for whatever reason, this doesn't seem to want to actually let me do this. But I guess what we could do is build it on this side. And then essentially, it would be a case of grabbing it, grabbing it, moving it, and putting it about there. And then, you know, lower it, move it into the terrain a little bit. So something like, like that. Uh, probably lower it even further. Uh, but essentially, you know, that that could look interesting. I think I would just have to do more with the top of it. Because that does have sort of the look that I'm going for. It's just, I think rocks are just going to look more interesting, to be totally honest. I really, uh, I really do. I'm also not sure how these guys work. Uh, that one, for example, uh, you can't see it at all. This one also can't really see it. I wonder if I was to move it up at all, would I be able to uh, to see it then? Oh, there it is. Okay, so what does that actually look like when it's... Oh! So what if I copied that, rotated it, and put it there? That's really weird looking. But does that mean that I could bring it... Oh... That's interesting. 
That's actually really interesting. So if I level it to that height, that's very strange. That is very strange. I'm going to need to play with these more. I, I don't know. I don't know how it works or what it does right now, but I'm definitely going to need to play with it more. Uh, either way, I think we've got a pretty good stab at an airport here. I do want to finish up this space and I do want to do some more detailing back here. But I think this is a pretty good start. And uh, I think at some point we're probably really going to need to. Uh... Oh, boy. Traffic here is rough as well. Um, OK. I guess the good news is this area is built up and actually has people living in it and uh, all of that stuff. I think we're probably going to want to change out some of this because by the looks of it, a lot of this space is it is office space, but no one's living there. So or no one's working there. So we'll turn it into residential. Uh, this space as well, honestly, we'll do residential too. And yeah. So we'll let people live in here the way we have been doing. It's good to see that it is actually working. Uh, also, can we just say that you guys should probably be getting in lane and staying in lane a little bit sooner than you currently are? Because it's a bit ridiculous that you're not. It's also a little bit ridiculous that you're not entering that junction there. So we'll let them do that so traffic will hopefully move a little bit better. But... Uh, Oh, you guys, why are you using that middle lane? I don't care. I don't, it's, it's whatever. Um, the good news is this place exists and the majority of people living here are uneducated or basically educated. That's good because it's hopefully going to push a bunch of uneducated workers out towards the village. So eventually I can put in all of these buildings again. Also line details, how many vehicles? 50. I don't think you need 50. I think we could probably go down to considerably less than 50 vehicles. I'm also going to pause while I do this because the game gets really laggy. I think we could probably bring village to airport down to a solid eight. Maybe 10. Let's do 10. That seems like it'd be a better idea. Definitely, definitely don't need more than 10. Uh, how's this all going over here? Any popular train lines? Actually, it looks like uh, relatively. Not popular enough to fill an 800-person train, but popular enough to be whatever. Uh, that's a little regional train coming in there with 29 people on board, so that's fine by me. But yeah, we've got enough space for uneducated workers as long as they can actually get access to work. We've got a lovely little airport coming together over here. So I think the next step, I think the one that makes sense is probably try and fill up uh, this space over here with residential zoning. Uh, I'd be inclined to try and fill up this space out here as well, but that might be getting a little too far away from the city. So maybe some spaces up here, given that I never really finished the factory areas. So maybe some residential out here, some residential down here. Actually, to be honest, this whole sort of empty space of trees here by the river, probably not a terrible place for some self-sufficient residential zoning. So I think that'd be pretty cool. That'll hopefully get us closer to uh, 65,000 people, which then gets us the municipal airport, which I want to just essentially this entire space up here. Uh, so I can paint in a rough district of what I'm talking about. Basically, that entire space up to the highway is all going to be airport. It's going to have trains going through it. It's going to have metro connecting to it. It's going to have buses going to it. We're going to put a cargo airport out there, uh, cargo train stations. I basically want this to be a really busy area. It's it's going to be sort of a its own little self-contained city almost right next to the city of uh, Nurchiping itself. I think that'll be really cool. It's just going to be a little while before we can do that. Maybe a couple of episodes. I also still need to go in and place all of these down again. And I really don't want to do that, but I'm going to have to do it. As much as I don't want to do it, it's it, the village needs it. 